Good afternoon, everybody. PA Figs here. It is the end of January, and as usual, I am starting to get a little bit of cabin fever. So I do it every year. Eh, why not do it again this year? I'm going to start planting some seeds. It's too early. I don't care. I am bored out of my mind. So I ordered some seeds from uh, Harris Seed Company, and uh, I'm going to plant a few. Just uh, gives me something to do. And I've got a few um, Coolie Dom Blanca Negra cuttings that I had left in the fridge too long. I meant to sell them and never did. So uh, I had a little bit of mold on them, a little dried out. I'm going to uh, rehydrate them here and cup them up and, and see what will happen. I took a couple and put them straight into some uh, soil media. We'll see what they do. But, uh, yeah, it's time to plant some seeds. I found this uh, neat new uh, seed rack just at Home Depot. And uh, I kind of like them. They've got this, it's hard, a little hard to tell for you probably, but like a triangular um, tray to them. So they're a little bit deeper than the normal ones would be to get some seeds started. So I'm going to give them a try this year. I've got some Pro Mix in here. Uh, this is just the regular BM. Let me see if I can find the... Uh, packaging for this tray to show you. Alright, here you go. So it's called uh, Fairy Morse's Pro Hex Professional Seed Starting Tray. And uh, you can see it's got a little bit deeper of a root mass than the normal. But uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a try here and, and see what gets going. And give me something to do in this dreary winter we've had. It's been uh, pretty nasty. The last couple of weeks have been below zero or at least close to it and you know low teens and it's just been cold um, because of that I did check on some of the figs in the garage and I have a lot more die off than normal so I uh, think part of it was perhaps not enough water but the other part was you know the garage was getting well below freezing even with a bit of the door open to the uh, the main house so there's definitely gonna be some die back this year Strangely enough, though, when it gets cold outside, it actually gets warmer in the greenhouse because the, uh, the heater has to pump a little harder to keep up. And you can see I've got some of my figs starting to break dormancy here. That is the uh, Martinenka Ramada air layer I took last year, if you watched that video. It's sprouting up nicely. And then this uh, black Madeira here that was more of a trial run just to test it out, surprisingly, is... Uh, is sprouting. The one behind it doesn't have much life yet, but it is swelling a little bit, so it gives me hope. I really just put these in here. Uh, I think they're pieces I knocked off a tree when I was moving it. I didn't expect much, but it's looking good. And I got a couple flowers in the greenhouse, which always makes it real nice to come in here and uh, walk around. The uh, Brumsfelsia is still flowering. It's almost finished here, but uh, I'll tell you what, what a beautiful smell. I have trouble growing gardenias here, but this Brumsfelsia uh, blooms without a problem and uh, smells real nice. Alright, so let's go ahead and get some of these seeds planted and be right back. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to plant is some shockwave uh, petunias. These are yellow. Let's go ahead and open her up and see there's supposed to be 25 seeds in here. I did check it out, looks like it's in a vial as opposed to just loose seeds, which is always nice. Boy, they are small, but they did pelletize them. And pelletizing is uh, when they just put a little bit of a um, wrapper around the seed to help make it a little bit easier to plant, it's supposed to give better soil contact. There's a whole bunch of benefits to it, so I do like using the pelletized seeds. Um, looks like I've got six across here, 25 seeds, so I'm going to do four rows, and uh, one spot is going to get two seeds. I'll be right back. All right, the seeds have been planted, just right up on the surface there. Um, there's actually 27 seeds as opposed to 25, so dear Harris, thank you for the couple extra. I just doubled them up, and you can see them there, and all I'm going to do is go and see if I can do it so you can see it, is push it down ever so slightly just to make sure it's got good contact, I'm not looking to bury them or anything like that. Um, some of them I am going to try a little vermiculite on top of, 
just kind of for a uh, trial basis here to see what happens. But push these all down. Make sure they're nice and set in that soil so they're not going to blow away the first time you water. That's really all there is to it. Nothing too fancy here today. And for those of you looking for fig videos, I'll try to make some videos of the uh, Caledon Blancanegra being up potted to give you your fig fix. But I figured I'd share some of the other stuff that I do here along with everybody. All right, now the important part. Need to label so I don't forget what's what. All right, so I've got my label made. I've got times four for four rows. And for right now, I'm just going to stick it into here. That might fit. Okay, normally you have to um, bend them so that the top can fit, but that might work. Or maybe I'll even, these are deep enough. I wonder if I can pick one in the middle here and just put it right in it. Actually, those deep uh, those deep trays are going to work nicely. I can put the label right in there. That's actually uh, a pretty big benefit. All right, time to plant uh, the next one, which are going to be the one that my wife loves, which are the hot pinks. So let me get those started. Okay, so I have the two petunias planted. The uh, order that I put in was actually for the particular petunia called, um, I think it's called Night Sensations, which is supposed to be a fragrant petunia. That, of course, was on back order, so I got everything but the one I wanted. So hopefully that comes through soon. So I'm going to fill up the rest of this uh, tra uh, tray here with some impatiens, um, orange impatiens. And let's see how they look. Okay, so these do not appear to be pelletized. They appear to be... how many were in here? Um, should be a number here someplace. 100 seeds. These appear to be loose and just a piece of wax paper. See if I can do this without spilling them. There you go. There they are. Let's go ahead and get these guys planted before I spill them everywhere. All right. So the impatiens are planted. The seeds are extremely tiny. If you see them there, there's, I think I planted two in that one. There's one there. So I mean, they are very small. So just need to be careful tamping these down. Don't want to put them too deep but do want them to be down enough to where when I water, they don't fly away. All right, so I'm gonna finish tamping those down and then I gotta water them in. All right, so they're all tamped down. Oh, excuse me. Oh, sorry about that, I had to sneeze. And uh, I've got my sprayer here on the mist setting. And now I'm just gonna give these guys a little bit of a, a watering. Get those seeds uh, nice in contact. Unfortunately, my greenhouse water has um, fertilizer in it. I'd prefer to do this without fertilizer. I could have always gotten a spray bottle from inside, but it's not going to matter too much. I mean, all the potting mixes, they usually have fertilizer in them already. And this is not a uh, seed starting mix. This is, again, straight pro mix um, BM. All right, that's all I'm going to do. And then I just need to clean off this humidity bin and put it on top. All right, let's see if I can put this on with one hand without doing too much damage. There we go. Now I am going to get some vermiculite. I've got it right here. And I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of that on the top of, uh, of the seeds just to keep a little bit of moisture in but I don't want to do too much. I don't want to block out the light from the seeds. So let's go ahead and open that up. All right, so I've got my vermiculite. And now all I'm gonna do is get a handful of it. This is gonna be a little bit messy. I should have done it over a uh, container, but I'm just gonna sprinkle a little bit on top, just like this. Nothing fancy to do it. Just gonna go ahead and Get some nice coverage. Not worried about it being too even or anything like that. I'm not using a lot of it. I don't want a lot of vermiculite. It's not a uh, a median for me. It's or a medium. It's just uh, 
for me it's just to help keep some moisture in especially if I run late and you know I'm at work all day so I don't have a lot of time to come out and check in the morning and I'll say not even in the evening sometimes although now that I started the seeds I'll have to be out here more before I was coming out uh, probably every couple days which was good enough watering but with seeds going I'll probably have to water in the morning and I'll probably have to water at night because the greenhouse does get pretty dry all right there we go and I'm gonna add a little bit more water to the top of that I do have my heat mat on the heat mat will only stay on until the seeds start to germinate and pop uh, to the right of that you'll see there's a tray of snapdragons that I started to try to germinate in the cold over on a shelf off in the corner did not work out too well a couple of them did pop out as you can see but uh, I think I'm gonna add some more seeds and leave them on the uh, heat mat for just a little bit longer here and uh, get them really going well all right get the cover there we go those guys are planted and I think germinations only like five to eight days or something like that let's see for the impatiens germination six to eight days I think the petunias are pretty close to the same here uh, yeah seven to twelve days so by next week I should have these guys popping and be able to slowly take that lid off and uh, prevent dampen off if you leave that lid on moisture is gonna be too high you're gonna get a lot of uh, damp off so want to get that off as soon as you possibly can all right I'm PA figs Hope you guys are keeping a little bit busier than I am this winter and enjoying yourselves. Uh, somebody uh, post down below how many days to spring. I don't think it's many. Still too many, but not as many as it was yesterday. I'm PA Figs. Have a good one.